now i have got so many number of records in this table now i want to do okay give me what is the highest num pnr number how many number of records are there in this table if i if i want to find out what is the number of records in the table i have to use select count star from my table count star that means it will count the number of records in this table and then print that again it need not be count star star always stands for all the columns you can always say select count of uh, pnr number any column name you can give that's always fine not an issue look at this thing now i use select star every time i execute the response time changes so this response time initially took 0.06 second after that it took 0.03 second this response is depending upon how, at that time of execution how many bytes how many memory bytes are free what is the whether the cpu is free or not so whether if you use count star or whatever it returns our account of that column name it returns how many number of rows are available in this particular table now i want to find out what is the highest train number right in this what is the highest train number in this particular table to do that select max of train number from my table the function max it will go through the table it goes through everything 222 2, 2, oh it finds out 3456 is the maximum value of that particular column same way i can always do select min of train number that means what is the lowest train number the min is minimum max is maximum now i could see there is a train number 222 there is a train number 3456 567 now if i simply say select train number from my table it shows six records from each row it is getting the train numbers correct but i want what are all the distinct train numbers so you can say select distinct train number from if you simply say select train number for every row what is the train number it just shows instead out of which 222 is a distinct one 3456 is a distinct one 567 though it is repeating i just want only one entry so distinct is it is going to bring you what are all the distinct values that means they are unique values within that column it displays that information i want to know totally how many passengers are there okay 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 totally how many passengers are there i want to see that in in that case what i can do is select sum of n psgr from my table sum sum will do the addition the cumulative value of 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 and anyway, null is not considered so 20 is the total so if i want to find out the sum of uh, the total value of the bill right total amount count of number the people or you know, passengers in that particular train in all those places you will be using sum or count right now i have used two hyphens and then hello on the sql prompt if you do this right this is called uh, uh commenting okay this is a commenting now if you go here again you can do cut and paste of all these things using within this prompt 
it's like almost DOS prompt. Sum count min max distinct, right? They are all called aggregate functions. Aggregate functions are the ones which are operating on multiple records. The moment I say count, it has to go through the table and then get me the count. The moment I say sum, it cannot operate on only one record. It has to go through all the records, get the value from each record, calculate the sum. Same way for distinct or max or min. They are called aggregate functions because they don't operate on one single record. It operates on a lot of records. Are these aggregate functions clear to you all? Can you please raise the hand if it's so? Good. Okay. One person has asked, how is the data stored internally? Let me go to a command prompt. Okay. I'm opening a command prompt. Uh, let me go to cd slash cd program files cd mysql there is a mysql directory right within that under program files mysql mysql server 5.0 there is a directory called data right I go to cd data dir within that you can see multiple directories. For example, I say show databases. Information schema, MySQL, SPCG, ABC Corp, SPCG test, test. Now, if you come back to this DOS prompt, look at this, uh, this thing, MySQL, SPCG Corp, SPCG test, test, right? Each database, except the information schema, they are all another folder. Now I am moving to CD test. Look here. I have used a table called my table. Internally it is using my table dot frm. Right? So ultimately the whole stuff, right? Ultimately all the information that you are using, right? They are all finally stored on the disk in terms of files. But how he efficiently he stores those files is his trade secret. Whether it is Oracle or MySQL or MSC SQL, finally they have to store the data in the disk. In the disk they are all files. But how efficiently the files are stored? Because writing to the file is easy, but getting information from the file is difficult. How efficiently he brings out from that? That is how he stores. So he internally stores everything as normal files. But those files cannot be opened by notepad or anything. Only MySQL can operate on these things. Uh, we cannot see. You can just type the data and then see that. But the format of that data is not known to outside. Otherwise, somebody will go and then directly write to the file. That's not allowed. Only through MySQL you have to insert data. Now, let me say select star from my table. Now, I want to remove the data. Yesterday and today, we have inserted the data. We have selected the data. Now, I want to remove the data. If I drop the table, table itself is gone. But I want the table to be present, but only the data to go off. If I want to erase only the data, all I need to do is delete from my table. Delete is another data manipulation language command, DML command. If I use delete keyword, it removes the data. Now I do a select. Look at this. When I do the select, no data is present. That means when you say delete, it removes the data. But the table is there describe my table table is there 
if i drop the table table itself will not be there right for example create table t1 i say column 1 uh, i am simply just creating a dummy table column 1 integer okay i am just creating a table t1 describe t1 the table exists now i say drop table t1 table is dropped if i say describe t1 it says table doesn't exist so drop it will remove the table itself whereas delete will keep the table but removes only the data part of it so when you are dealing with the data use delete command and not drop command but the problem here is all the data is gone okay 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 is this clear the delete and uh, drop okay cool okay okay so delete is a simply a command to remove data from the table drop is to remove the table itself okay so don't use drop delete is only to remove the data now a person has asked uh, over here again maybe new to this webinar uh, i'm getting a message that you are muted by organizer yes all the users who are participating in the webinar your mic is muted except me i can unmute the mic of a person okay but the thing is there are a lot of people attending the webinar so if you unmute all of them then uh, we cannot control the noise levels and each one will start arbitrarily asking questions so if you have questions you can um, type it and then send it to us we can answer that part otherwise it will be a difficult hall to manage with a lot of people connecting from all parts of the world okay thanks for understanding that now but the problem here is when i simply say delete from the table all data is gone which is also not good okay so i need to have selective deletion okay now let me insert a few records okay describe my table okay now let me say insert into my tables my table uh three values i want to give pnr number train number okay values 111 222 okay i am just giving values to this now i want to give a series of values 112 223 now i am going to give one more value 113 224 one more value now let us do a select select star from my table it has inserted four records since i have not passed values to all these things it has not inserted the values in the other columns so we have got four records over here okay now i want to select certain things based on some condition okay do a select do a select based on some condition this is one aspect again the two hyphens in the prompt is a comment just to explain the things in wordings also i am using that 